Greetings, my beautiful, lovely, galactical beings of the universe. Okay, so my apologies for the last cut-off video. Um, I didn't realize my partner was coming very early uh, to go to the game. I, I didn't realize, so I didn't realize it was that early. But anyway, this is not a fire. This is Palo Santo, which is for inspiration. Um, air, right? Smoke, air, inspiration. Carry this stuff to the universe. So, um, I just want to get back to where I kind of left off because I just kind of went poof. I disappeared. My apologies again. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, but anyway, the game was awesome. Whatever, it was 12 to nothing. Anyway, I don't even know if he's seen half the game, but it's, was wandering around opening our minds to everything right you go to some event like that you go to an event like that and you just observe right observe with no um with no uh evaluation you know just look at things and like you know it's it's uh mind opening you know it, it's just um it's pretty wild how people think I don't know, I just don't understand how you go to these events, you got five kids, you got this f look on your face of, I don't want to be here, and the, you know, and the husband is all, they're like, like walking zombies almost, and to me, that's not fun, but to them, they see that as fun, how is that fun, that's stress, that is stressful, you have a stressful look on your face. You're standing in line handing over $100 for food and shit, right? That That's, how is that fun? What in that is fun? Anyway, I don't get it. I don't understand. That's, just not, that's why you, you don't, you can't sit there and contemplate on all that. You just observe that and then later on you're like, man, how, how is that, how is that fun? To me, going there, that was fun. Walking around, observing talking about mind expansion and uh, anything anyway anyway um excuse me but anyway I want to get back to the leadership that I was being taught uh, I was being shown that day in the in, in the uh, with the fairy bubble where I left it, where I left off with the fairy bubble okay the fairy bubble and uh, so when I pulled up to the job right I got out of the car the, the vehicle the work truck and I'm thinking all these things are rambling through my head. The card, the the tiger card, the leadership, and I'm asking, what what is this leadership? But I but I be I go there, I go I know what it is. It's at home, it's at home leadership because I'm supposed to be who I really am, and figure out how not to talk preachy and not to be like, uh, not to be a teacher all the time, right? Just so I can just tone my words down, I guess, and just talk. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still working on it. It's all this is all process. Um so then I went to the unification of myself and then I'm like, okay, there's something more. So uh all of a sudden this is right here, I could see it in my peripheral vision. Something was on my shoulder. So I went to look and it disappeared and I put my head back, it was there. It was in the peripheral vision. And this is how we see 5D, 6D, 7, all these dimensions outside 3D plus time. Uh, that's how we see our peripheral vision and the key is not to go like this. But to stay centered and be aware of that. Don't focus on it because it will go away. It's hard, I know this is hard because I've been trying to practice every time, all the time I see someone. Because you want to see it, but in your the mind, the memory will spark and tell you what it is. So that's how we see, you know, outside of the reality that the world that we create in our minds. You know, this whole fairies and dragons and witches and energy, right, and and auras and and, and all these things. So it comes to us. So if we can just stay like the Buddha, right? For example, you know, inner peace within, right? Nothing is outside. Whatever is outside is in me. So why do I need to? <laughs> It'll keep coming clear. The more or less you focus, and the more you pay attention to this peripheral, it'll be there. And you'll just eventually 
it'll come swirling. But anyway, so I'm like, wow, there's some more shit beyond this leadership. So I said, wow, a leadership, L, that's a number three. On my way out to this job, I seen a Coca-Cola truck. And this is where I'm going to get to the numerology later in another video. Because uh, I have a lot of explaining to do. But uh, Coca-Cola. And, and, and you can see the semi-truck. It's got a big C, right? The C. Since everything is symbols, C, C tells me 33. We're already the master, ascended master teacher. So now the memory kicks in and shows me these, uh, the thoughts, the thoughts kick in, the memory of the ascended master, what I was reading, and numbers, okay, all these things that coincide with me, everything started to come up 33, CC is 33. And then they had an L, the leadership L, and, and then they, something came up. I seen something with an L love or something. And LL is 33. Uh, you know, you do all these 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 uh, numbers and stuff real fast in your head, and everything will equal 33. Everything was equaling 33. And uh, so I'm, I'm blown away now. And the music that was on was coinciding with, with everything that was being shown to me. And so when you follow these synchronicities, following the synchronicities, you feel more, you know, you get more excited and happy. And that's the key. That's how they get you to where you're going is by feeling good. And then again, this keeps us out of the chaos. Life, right? Of what's going on. Whew. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's going on. But uh, anyway... It's this is um so so that dawned on me that I was I'm driving it in and even even Cleveland Cleveland equals thirty three ah uh, you know my my whole chart my core numbers uh, there's five core numbers that equal uh, that make up the chart of make up who who I am which is thirty three so now I'm like blown away because now I'm supposed to be, I know I'm supposed to be teaching something. I don't know if it's what it is. They they tell me it's magic, but this is healing. We are healing magic, but it's cosmic. Okay, so we're on a cosmic level, bringing this cosmic knowledge down here to 3D reality to help heal 3D reality through cosmic means, cosmic energy. So now I just don't know. The thing is, is... When you don't have a word for something, we just don't know what it is. We just, we just overlook it. Well, I can't overlook stuff no more because, because I have to wonder, what what is this? What is this called, right? Like, what is it? Was this cos uh, cosmic Reiki? Or, I mean, really, what is it? It's, just, it's basically just healing. It's self-healing. That's all it is. But there's so many different ways and things to do for you to help, to get you healed, to get you out of the fucking chaos of this life, that life of media, news, right? People's complaining, complaining. And then when people come to me for, you know, when they don't complain to me, but when they come to me, they say, hey man, you know, can I tell you something, you know, you, you seem, you know, blah, 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 and I'm not going to be like the old dude in the old videos before, like, last month and before, where I'm, like, trying to tell you, but now it's going to be more like a teacher. Like, I'm sure you've noticed the Eclipse video, the Eclipse videos, the energy has shifted in the videos, right? The energy has shifted. Everything shifts. When the consciousness shifts, the energy shifts, the room shifts, everything shifts. Everything is not what it seems. Like this cup. What do you know about this cup? Right? So, that's what I wanted to touch up on the leadership thing. And I, it has now come to me that this is a whole 
whole new uh, life pattern that where I'm going is I know where it's going because everything's going online you know uh, that's the web building the web we are a thread in the web and what are we doing with this web we are building it we're spreading the knowledge the cosmic knowledge the inner space the outer space cosmic space that's what we are to give to make people aware self-realization self-awareness of everything wow multi-dimensional self-realization uh, multi uh, realities multi-realities realization that's the realization they what you will give it a name I don't care it's to me it's just cosmic healing <laughs> Healing through cosmic means. HC. I don't know. Anyway, that's what the uh, that's the end of that day, that video where I got cut off. But I just wanted to kind of go back and say how they threw this mem the, the messages to me through memory and experiences of what you are asking. Because pay attention when you ask, they are answering. Believe it or not. Just believe it. Don't don't worry about seeing it. Believe it. Because basing basing everything on what you know, what you see, right? Okay. Because the more we see, okay, uh, a lamp. You turn on. So if you well, the more you know or see the lamp, right? You can see inside the shade, the bulb, what's inside the bulb, and what goes down, what goes in the tube, right? You could if you that. This is all. Not 3D. This is not third dimensional. The lamp's third dimensional, but inside the lamp is a whole other dimension. Okay, so now when this awareness comes, whoa, right? We look at everything through, uh, we look at everything in a uh, higher dimension perspective. Our whole perspective changes. And then the whole shift is like, whoa, this is what three, our 5D is, is about, right? It's, it's grounding now, we're grounding all this in now, integrating, right? We're integrating, we are owning our power, owning our power of who we are. I am a witch. That's what I do. And if you look what a witch is, do your research and it basically, you think about the very first before all these, you know, these Hebrews and the Ar Arabic, Arab, Arabics, uh, Ara Arabic, Arabics, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to, you know, this is just me, you know, I don't see it as it's said, but anyway, go past all these, you know, these forms of religion and forms of thought and forms of um, ideology, forms of culture and go before all that, who created who? Who made who a witch? Who made who a Reiki who? Who? They did themselves. That is the magic where it started because all this fucking shit goes beyond buildings and all of it. Nature. Magic is in the power of the mind is the magic. To transfer everything, to switch your reality, that's magic. To inspire another person is magic to put a smile on someone's face is magic magic is not you know of course it is but how are you looking at it what do you know about it that's what I wanted to get into to finish off on that one I will do a, a, a numerology because numerology has changed now for me and I'm sure it's going to help someone because of the fast paced microwave society we live in ms microwave society manipulating solutions moving solutions move the more we move the more we get the more release the more the more we move the more we release the more we get and you know we keep thinking and thinking about all these things next thing you know Problems are being solved. Uh, 
you hear no complaining from Facebook or whatever, I don't know, whatever, you know what I mean, you know, you, you don't hear any of these things, you do, but it doesn't go, it doesn't register because uh, the knowledge we carry, we just say, but I don't see it like that, this is, this is how I view it, <laughs> just like this, that's the truth, anyway, on that happy note, what, <laughs> happy, but anyway, and the witches turn into the shamans, and the shamans turn into the fucking, uh, these whole new things of forms of religion, and ideology, and all these things, right, because we're all different, nothing is the same, nothing, that's the problem with now, is this whole ideology thing, is we have to, you know, we go around and someone, you know, is interested in, in being a witch, so they, they look, well, already, what you look for is looking for you, so why are you looking for it? Just, just be the witch. Be the witch. Be your magical self. There's no sense of looking for it. Just do the work. It took me a long time to figure that out. Like, I've been looking and looking. Is more, if you think about like this, uh, you know, think about like this, um, religion seeks the light. Looking. They're looking for the light. Science studies it. Witches, shamans, Reiki masters, Reiki, Reikis, uh, self-healings, these types of people, light workers, turn the fucking light on inside. They turn it on. They're no longer looking. They're no longer studying. They turn it on. And then they're amazed. What? Because there's a whole new world out there. So, on this happy note, <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching, sharing, commenting, sending me stuff, whatever. I love you guys. Be colorful, be inspiring, be unique, and travel. Travel. Travel on. Oh, time travel. TT22, the master builder's number. That number I have a problem with. I think it's got something to do with my organization. That's why I'm, I'm tearing my whole house apart. It's getting cleansed, it's getting cleansed and redone. Uh, these things take time. Like you plant a seed in the ground and basically watch your house transform. It just doesn't happen overnight. Nothing does. I love you guys. Be unique and be inspiring. Go with whatever your heart says in your hands. Uh, I'll see you, I'll see you soon. I, I gotta do the numerology video, but I gotta get out, so I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Oh!